What's up, Scorpio? This is Soul. And Scorpio, this is your September 2019 general love and relationship messages. It is for uh, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising signs as well. The messages are for Scorpio singles and Scorpio couples too. Okay, so Scorpio, I hope all is well. I'm using my favorite uh, tarot deck to deliver your messages, the Victorian Romantic Tarot. And also I'm bringing back the uh, Simply Loves, uh, yeah, Simply Loves Love Oracle uh, messages for you guys. And without further ado, let's see what the energy is coming up for you and what possibly you need to focus on. Or if there's uh, anything else going on in terms of concerns or possibilities. All right, so let's begin. Scorpio, what are the messages for Scorpio in the month of September Spirit 2019 regarding love and relationships? Messages for Scorpio. All right, let's begin. Scorpio, let's see what's coming up. Okay, one more, one, two, three, four, one more. All right, Scorpio, your shadow card energy uh, relates to, oops, your energy, the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups in the upright position, emotional uh, disappointment, uh, possibly not always walking away, but you just don't want to deal with the emotions. Uh, so do not despair. This is even though this is a card of despair, emotional wise, uh, it just doesn't mean that, you know, there's a parting of the ways or anything. You just something may be going on in the relationships, either it's um, emotional ups and downs, uh, and that would provide you know, uh, ins instability for you and security and stuff. So, but you have family members and friends here to console you. If you are dealing with any aspects of any relationships that's bringing on the eight of cups energy. So the eight of cups represents your energy and that energy of the other water signs, cancer and, um, Pisces male or female. And doesn't necessarily mean walking away something might be going on here but the focus for you is related to the uh card the very first card uh and then maybe you know what you may have concerns over if it's in connection with the eight of uh cups as well so let me first and foremost get everything in frame here so what you have to focus on here, Scorpio, is, well, there's determination, okay? Whatever the Eight of Cups is bringing forward, you're going to be determined to uh, sear through it using that sword, clearing up any confusion, uncertainty. Uh, there's no um, clouds hanging over your head. This is a card of taking action. This is a court card, so it could also represent uh, male energies. So, but whatever the situations that are presented to you, for the month of uh, September regarding your relationships, you're going to uh, use that sword to clear, you know, th clear those things up. Nothing is going to stop you. And this is moving forward and taking action. OK, following that. Uh, well, not following, but what crosses that queen of swords now that represents Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, a Scorpio. We have the high priestess. OK, this is also part of your energy, specifically uh, Pisces. So it's the number two. So it is being very, very, uh, you know, determined. Uh, this could also mean a formation of a new partnership because the high priestess is part of the uh, cards that I have uh, deemed as relationship cards. Opposites attract. We have the polar opposites. So opposites could be attracting. And but with this particular card here, there's there's you see this billow and uh, smoke coming out of the kettle or the pot. 
there's could be some energy and connection with someone. There's a mystery. There's something mysterious about uh, either someone that you're dealing with right now or someone that you're about to meet. Now, does that mean that is negative? No, there's just some sort of mystery uh, that could be uh, carried with their energy. Opposites attract. It could be that you're attracted to someone who's a different, uh, you know, race, different culture, different religion. It could be in a different state, different city. That's what I'm getting with the uh, opposites attract, or there's something different about the person um, that you're either dealing with in a relationship or you are about to meet. Okay, using your intuition. All right, Scorpio, use your intuition. This is here uh, because it is. Um, yeah, it's here for a reason. So whatever prompts that you may get, it could be good prompts. Go with what your gut tells you to go with. All right. This is regarding relationships. And again, it's favored. It's a major arcana. So it's favored that it's crossing the queen of swords because whatever it is that you are getting in terms of your prompts, when it comes to those relationships that you encounter or that you're dealing with, you're going to be, um, you're going to be on your toes, okay? You want to be on point and ain't nothing going to... Um, and then you use that sword. I'm just thinking you use that sword in the Queen of uh, Swords to clear up any of this billowing smoke about someone that, you know, could be coming across as being mysterious or something that isn't, you know, I'm not going to necessarily say not, not quite right, but that could be the case for some of you. But you're going to find out, all right? You're going to find out. This is a card of secrets as well. Um... Yeah, so it's representing that energy of you, specifically Pisces and then Cancer. Following the High Priestess, Major Arcana in the upright position, Scorpio, we have the Three of Wands. So this is something positively moving forward. And then also, too, uh, you know, I get the short. This is the overseas type of energy. Someone could be traveling, too. Someone you could be traveling, um, but also something moving forward something moving forward in a positive direction it is the number three so uh, i'm getting more traveling and it's linked to romance so you could be traveling with your significant other to a distant land to a different state to a wherever uh but it's favorable you know usually the traveling energies in the upright is about safe passage to and from uh but it's strongly yeah, connected to uh, someone at a distance. And again, it follows that high priestess. And like I said, it could be someone who is living in a different state, living in a different country, uh, but someone who is far from you. All right. So fire sign energies, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female with that three of wands. Now we have the devil coming up after the three of wands. So the devil says, OK, and, you know, in this deck, I use uh, keep the two devils. And the two lovers, the devil here says that there's some Scorpios who may need to address their relationships or bad habits that are impacting or affecting the relationships, whether they're uh, involving the devil's energies of addiction. So that could be substance abuse, drinking, smoking, gambling, whatever your addiction is. This is a card of feeling uh, restricted, feeling bound to a situation normally because i'm doing a general love reading it could be a person this could also be ruminating thoughts that are in you know incorporating uh, is romantically linked but your ruminating thoughts involve having to think of this person over and over and over you can't seem to get them out of your mind shake them out of your head now you could be in a relationship with this person but you also could not be in a relationship with this person but it could have been a uh, someone that you were interested in this is also a card of unrequited love for me you know it's like you may like someone and then those feelings aren't uh you know mutual or it could be that someone likes you and, and the same thing applies well this the devil creating an illusion all right that's the devil's energy and also, too, it's about temptation. Devil represents uh, not being, well, the devil represents temptation, but it's, I'm saying to you as your advisor not to be tempted to pick from the fruit. Something is not right with that fruit. It could be poisonous. So that's the devil's energy representing Capricorn, um, Taurus, and Virgo, male or female. Something needs to be addressed. 
something is impacting your uh, relationships with others. If the substance abuse energy is coming through Scorpio and, you know, they're dealing with that or you're dealing with that, it's affecting you and then the uh, overall aspect of the relationship. OK, and that's not good. But there is a need to address uh, either bad habits or bad relationships. OK. And then, like I said before, feeling restricted, feeling tied, unrequited love. Illusions. Following the devil card is the ten of swords. OK, so this is more or less like the backstabbing type of energy. But the best thing about the ten of swords showing up here for a general love reading, uh, Scorpio, is that whatever strife, whatever conflicts, that you may have encountered or endured with your uh, current relationships. Now, if you're single, then, you know, it could be an ending of having to deal with all of that mental strife, mental uh, stuff and trying to, you know, put your energies out there and it wasn't, you know, favorable or wasn't things weren't working out the way that you wanted them to. This is a completion of all of those conflicting energies. Just so you know, Ten of Swords is actually not a bad card to get. So a new I guess I can say a swarm of energy is about to take place and the ending is the conflicting, um, whatever the conflicts were for you. Okay. Scorpio, whatever the conflicting energies were for you, but it's linked to, uh, those things about love and, uh, relationships, romance, what have you. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female represents that 10 of swords. And then you notice in the Ten of Swords, too, is all this water here. So this is ending of an emotional wave. Now, even though we have the uh, Eight of Cups as uh, the emotions that could be something that plays out, that could be, you know, connected with this Ten of Swords, with all the water that's showing up here, you know, with the emotions and things coming to, uh, you know, uh, some sort of completion or a new energy that is presented to you. All right. But I feel that the... Ten of Swords of having to end some sort of painful difficulties and painful conflicting energies, uh, but it's linked to romance. It's, re it's linked to relationships. That's coming to an end. Following the uh, Ten of Swords, uh, Scorpio is now the look, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so she's adorned in, in what appears to be a wedding, you know, wedding. Uh, dress or wedding gown or whatever and this could be the case somebody gets married in the month of S uh, September all possibilities are here uh, but there's two people here on this card so that could also be a connection with someone new uh, it also could be just the energy that uh, reference that some Scorpios if they are single and you can currently be in a relationship but this is what you're striving to achieve you're striving to achieve uh, either entering into a relationship that fosters security, stability, and longevity, okay? Or you're currently involved in a relationship and this is what you're trying to um, accomplish, you know? This person here is there to provide all of this energy for you. This is what you may seek uh, and moving forward if you are single. And that could be the case, but it's a good card. It represents Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female energies. It's a court card. So, so far, you've only had the eight of cups show up here. And I always like the cups to show up. But because the high priestess is a relationship card, I link it with the uh, knight of pentacles that... Uh, some Scorpios, either if you're single, there's a possibility that you may meet someone new. And then, you know, it could be a connection that fosters the security, uh, longevity and stability that you aspire to, you know, achieve. All right. Following the Knight of Pentacles. Now we have. There we go. <laughs> I just said no, no cups showed up outside of the Eight of Cups. Six of Cups is actually a pretty good card. So this is Cup. That comes through, and I'm not, to, you know, discussing or talking about children. This is things from your past, okay? Going down memory lane. So it could be just Scorpios thinking about a relationship from their past. It follows the Knight of uh, Pentacles. Scorpio thinking about maybe um, somebody that I'm reading for that was connected to an Earth sign. Now, the good news is that the Six of Cups is in the upright position. So there is a tendency. Uh, when the Six of Cups shows up, that the person from your past that you may have had an association with um, could be reaching out to you, someone that you haven't heard from. Now, stay strictly 
and specifically uh, with love and relationships. We're not talking about family members. We're not talking about um, friends. All right. We're talking about ex lovers and partners. So someone from your past uh, may want to reach out to you. Maybe you're thinking of someone from your past. Um, whether or not you entertain it, that's totally your free will and it's totally up to you. Okay. But this is a pleasant card to get. It is a relationship card, uh, but it's more or less linked to uh, those things of your past. Okay. Happy times. You know, even though you may not be together with this person, there's some aspect of. Um, there's some aspecting energy that you enjoyed some sort of happiness, satisfaction, and contentment with that person, or they enjoyed those things with you. But there is a tendency that you may uh, hear from someone that you haven't uh, heard from in a long time, and it's uh, from your past. An X. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, your energy, and Pisces as well with the Six of Cups, Three of Pentacles follows the uh, six of cups and this is actually pretty good this is getting along well with your partner all right we're not talking about work and finance since three of pentacles always represents uh you know that in a general reading but this is a re love and relationship reading so it's getting along well with others it's getting along well with your partner um possibly working to achieve the same common goals that you you know this is a work in progress uh, being, you know, definitely it's not the two of cups, but still being on the same page and working in unison with one another to achieve. It mirrors the, the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe the work in progress is to uh, you could, you know, singly work in order to try to get into or involved in that relationship and get that security and stability that you uh aspire or is you already involved in a relationship and this is what you're working on okay you're working on that security building of a, a stronger foundation or a solid foundation but this is a pleasant card okay and this is someone that i'm hearing that is you know they're actually happy to be <laughs> in a partnership with you to be honest with you, that's the three of pentacles talking to me right now. They're happy to be in a partnership with you or you're happy to be in a partnership with them. All right. Following the three of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. Now we have the ten of wands. So the ten of wands and you have two tens here. The tens always represents a completion of energy. So even if I was going to say it's not always about um, being burdened or carrying a heavy load. In this instance, it's just energy for me. Right. But it also could be the completion of uh, all of those things that you dealt with. And it's in connection with the Ten of Swords. All right. Feeling burdened by uh, some aspect of a relationship and, and taking the brunt of a burden, you know, taking things on your shoulder, carrying the heavy load, um, possibly you doing, you know, you know, putting in more work or more energy than your partner has, and that will create the burden. So, but whatever your situation is, um, with two tens here, even if there wasn't two tens here, I still would say that there's a completion, there's a turnaround of energy, um, ca you know, carrying a lighter load and doing less work, not working so hard. Um, but it's a, an attachment to a relationship, all right? Endings of conflicting, uh, mental conflicting. This could be um, in association with those relationships or the mental conflicting energies that were happening with you or, uh, you know, occurring with you internally. I'm trying to sort shit out uh, when it comes to the devil's energy, when it comes to uh, possibly the high priestess, the queen of swords, um, clearing up anything that uh, might be standing in your way or clearing up any types of confusion, uncertainty. But the uh, queen in the upright position is about you moving forward, taking action, making decisions and being very determined. All right. So, again, we have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Um, that represents the Ten of Wands. Final card for you, Scorpio, is... Okay, the Ace of Swords. So we have the Ace of Swords. 
And you know the Ace of Swords is victory and success. It's in the upright position. So, of course, when it comes to your relationships, there is some type of victory and success to achieve. It mirrors the Knight of Pentacles. That victory and success is for those singles who may um, connect with someone new. And then the victory and success is achieving connecting with someone new, but also getting that really getting involved in that relationship where you can see yourself uh, feeling secure or this person that you meet is providing the security, stability, uh, longevity that you've been, uh, you know, uh, seeking. Ace of Swords. All right. There is nothing standing in your way. And this is actually um, this is also a truth card. OK, standing your truth. So we have a good reading here. Like I said before, we had the Six of Cups representing your energy. Op well, the Eight of Cups opened this up. And so the Eight of Cups still may be playing out with some of the energies here. It may be in connection with the Devil card. Something going on with the Devil. Creating some sort of illusion. Someone being disappointed or upset because uh, you may like someone and they don't return the uh, feelings. Unrequited love, as I mentioned. Feeling restricted. Feeling bound ruminating thoughts romantic ruminating thoughts you could be with a person and you may not be with a person but you can't seem to shake them can't seem to get get them out of your mind uh whatever whatever the situation is all right so that's what i have for you scorpio and from simply loves oracle deck let me select three cards for you uh and actually this is a pretty good reading i like this energy for you so, as always, take out of it what you can. If some portions of the readings resonate with you, then fine. Um, but, you know, it's not necessary for people to comment that, you know, some of the readings resonated and some of, uh, you know, some of the readings didn't. Well, yeah, I would like to hear that, but it's not necessary for you to, you know, because these are no one's personal readings. I always say that, and I feel that uh, either people don't grasp what I'm saying or they just feel that once they start looking at the video and the reading... It, it was it's simply for them and this is not it's for a lot of people you know and this is why it's generalized it's just energy that may impact or affect a lot of people so just take out of it what you can and leave the rest alone all right so let's select three cards for you uh scorpio to complement your reading and well this is love and romance oracle and this is the creator of the deck. Well, I thought I took that out there. So let me select another card for you. All right. So this one says intimacy. It says open relationship. All right. Is there some energy going on here with some Scorpios who are uh, involved in open relationships? Could be. Next message, uh, Scorpio, is there you go. Wedding. And I just said with the uh, Knight of Pentacles, there could be a wedding. A ceremony of love is going to happen. This is the wedding card. Next message for you, Scorpio. Next and last message, that is attention. This card says attention. You're attracting romance. So if that's the case, keep up doing what you're doing. Um, and you can attract romance if you're single and still attract that romance if you're in a relationship. Because she's putting on lipstick, so maybe it has something to do with uh, you know, making your something to do with your appearance and, you know, becoming more appealing. And even though this is a female, this could also represent male energies, just doing something to um, keep that flow of uh, love energy uh, going between you and your partner or just beautying or beautifying yourself if you're single to meet that possibly that knight in shining armor is the knight of pentacles. All right. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety. Um, sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again and enjoy life. Take care. Bye.